All right. Well, obviously everything we, we wanted to accomplish today, we did. We pitched really well. Uh, we swung the bats extremely well. Uh, outside of that uh, flub double play in the first inning, uh, we played really good defense. So we came out today with a focus and a, and a, a really big desire to win, and we did that. So very proud of the team. James has been awesome as a starter this year. What did you see from him today just to settle that thing down? He dominated. I mean, he, he just dominated. He threw a ton of strikes. He throws a ball that's hard to square up. He had tremendous poise and command out there. Um, just everything we wanted to see. You know, we didn't plan on him going that long, um, but 53 pitches in five innings, there's just no reason to take him out at that point. So uh, he was outstanding. Uh, Gavin, obviously with the, the two home runs today, I know uh, during his time at Vanderbilt didn't get a ton of at-bats, but he's been producing for you guys. Just what's his development been like and, and what's it been like just having him on it's the It's been great. You know, he's a kid that really loves the game of baseball. He comes from a, a big-time baseball family, as you know, um, and it's just great to see him have this kind of success. He's worked hard for it. Um, you know, it was a little bit of a leap of faith when you take a player that, you know, had been in another program that really didn't have – um, you know, a whole lot of uh, experience or success, but we did our homework uh, and, and we were just aware of his background and what he still might be able to do uh, with a change of scenery, and we're thrilled we added him. Talmadge is a guy that had some up and downs as a freshman last year, has grown, had the big hit lot yesterday, those big swings today. Just what's he kind of meant to this offense, especially a guy with that at bat in the middle or bottom of the order? Yeah, it's 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 really important. You know, you we use the expression all the time, just pass the baton. You know, give one good at bat to the next to the next. And he's a guy that really does that quite a bit. It's a high on base guy. Uh, he doesn't strike out. So when you get in RBI situations, you know he's going to move the ball and give you a chance. So, you know, I, I think uh, there's been a lot of attention on the transfer portal guys, but I think we also need to appreciate the fact that we have a ton of guys that have gotten a lot better over the last year, but also have come back from injury. Hicks, for example, Mahoney, for example. So the portal guys have been very important, but also there have been a lot of guys that have been on this campus you know, before this year that have really been a big part of this, uh, this improvement this year. Mark, I know I ask you this question. It feels like every week or so, but you know, obviously it's a small sample size, big season, getting ready for conference play in a couple of weeks. But to be able to win this series, to be able to win against a team that obviously you know what this rivalry rivalry means for this state, yeah. to be able to come back and be able to get these two after losing on Friday night, it was important. You know, again, it, Friday night was the first little bit of adversity that we had to handle this year. We had had a couple close games, but for the most part, that was the first bit of adversity we had to handle. And I thought, you know, how we how we dealt with it in the dugout on Friday night after the game was over was perfect. We just said it was one of those games. Um, come out and ready to go tomorrow. And obviously for the for the first six innings yesterday, it wasn't really going our way, but we just kept grinding and we just kept playing the game the best we could. It turned in the seventh inning and we we carried that momentum through today. So yeah, it's it's big. It's big for our fans. I'm glad our fans are able to celebrate this. Um, They've had a chance to celebrate a lot of success recently athletically, so I'm happy that we can be a, a, another part of that. There was a lot of traffic on the base pass in the first couple innings, and, and Mahoney worked out of those jams. Yeah. How important was it to be able to kind of keep them at bay and not let them? Yeah, I think that was really important. Uh, he, you know, again, he, he a couple walks. What did he have? A uh, couple walks and you know, a couple balls that got through. So he had to handle some some business there, uh, but he got out of it. Minimize, we talk about it all the time, minimize damage, minimize damage, give our offense a chance to get going again. And so to only give up the one run uh, was important because it allowed us to grab that momentum. Just what were some of your takeaways from, from facing Clemson this weekend and kind of the team that, that they have? Yeah, I just, again, it's we always say it. We throw out the records. We throw out anything other than respect for the rivalry. And uh, they have some good pitchers. They have some hitters that are really good. And I think they'll be fine. Yeah, after that Friday night loss, when you met with the media, you seemed kind of unusually loose and yeah. like the loss didn't get you down. Was that is that a change in you personally, or is that a sense that you think this ball club, even though it stub its toe from time to time, you got something kind of special? You know, I think it's probably both. I really do. I was asked the question in this venue uh, a few days ago. You know, what's changed over the years? And I've I've decided that I'm going to try to do everything I can to number one enjoy this rivalry this weekend, but 
as a coach, I need to do that more than I have. You know, I'm getting to the age now where I need to enjoy what I get to do. And I'm trying to do that in, in terms of the relationships with our players. I'm trying not to make it life and death like it can feel sometimes. And yeah, I, that's, I think it's, but that being said, it's also a confidence in the ball club we have that we can bounce back and that we would bounce back. Any other questions for coach? All right. Thank you very much. 228, you're welcome again.